He was carrying a large load for a while with Donovan Mitchell out. Rudy Gobert was out for a while too, but Conley has been cold lately as O'Neal knocks down the three. But Giannis has had success against him, not surprisingly. Similar size. Nice little flick there from Conley to Gobert. 9-5 start for Milwaukee. Here's O'Neal. He'll let it go again and knock it down again. In there with Portis, Matthews, Middleton, and Hill for Milwaukee. Nice job by O'Neal coming back to steal it. Here is Clarkson. Good movement. Mitchell a deep one. Money. Something Mike Budenholzer highlighted to us before the game. Here's Mitchell on the attack. Oh, the sidestep. Sweep to the cup. Teams in the league, first and third respectively. Donovan's footwork is outstanding. So explosive as an offensive player. Watch the footwork, my goodness. Oh, Gobert. Just a make it white side. Doing his Gobert impression. Absolutely stoned Giannis at the rim. Talking about if he's playing at the level he's capable of, he's active, his mind is engaged, and he's doing all the right things. Imagine the... They've got Chicago coming in here, then they go Brooklyn, Boston, as Gobert oops the alley. And Utah, of course, has already lost Joe Ingles for the season. As Conley sets up Gobert, and the Jazz have their first lead since the end of the first quarter. And wins and losses for the Jazz. He's not a low post scorer, but as a vertical threat, yeah, Mr. Gobert could do that. Pascal, Whiteside, Mitchell, O'Neal, and Clarkson, the five for Utah. O'Neal, oh, nice bait to give himself just enough space to float it in. Mitchell, a three. Seven for Donovan Mitchell and an eight-point Jazz lead. Conley hits O'Neal. No, Pascal. Yes. 7-0 Milwaukee run in the last 75 seconds. Conley, what a pass. And Gobert soars in for the slam. Far more aggressive than pick and roll action at the point of attack. Giannis comes way out. I think he's anticipating some help rotation. It's not on time. And listen, Mike Conley has seen just about...